Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Luciferus, and this is Long Live the Queen. I am standing to attention right now. And that's enough of that. Let's turn the music down a wee bit more. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what this game is. I got it from the good old game sale a few weeks back. And this is the first time that I'm loading it up. So let us find out what we're getting ourselves into together. Joslyn, King Dowager, Duke of Caloris. We're almost home, your room is just the way you left it. Hello, D. Crown Princess. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. Not quite sure why she's Cockney, but we'll stick with that. She would have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. <sighs> I'll be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, yes, yes it is, you should read this brief introduction to how the game works. Yeah, because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. You'll be controlling Elodie, the almost Queen of Nova. As she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotions screen for more details. Interesting. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skill screen now. Whoa. That's a lot of skills. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual and mystical. I'm a magical soon-to-be queen. Sweet. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Well, duh. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday, blah, blah, blah. Because she's depressed, she has a minus two penalty to the social skill set conversion. She does. Wow, so yeah. However, she has a plus one to the expression skill set. So this is all going to be about balancing skills. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when the boost changes. She can 
Also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills, 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 skills. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. <sighs> the classes screen breaks down skill sets by categories for your morning, evening. I kind of wish I'd have just like gone into this blind and really, really fumbled around. Excuse me. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. Bubbles like these will show you an Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these will show, yeah. Wow, great. So am I now playing the game? I guess I am. Okay then, so, mood is rubbish. Classes... Okay. So, her social stuff is rubbish, but her expression is good. Let's go with expression classes. Singing beautifully, playing instruments, decoration. Well, I'm an artistic sort, so let's go with that. Morning classes, let's go with uh, what should we go for? Let's go with History, and we will go with Foreign Affairs. Done. Yay! You discuss the nature of beauty, looking around at landscapes, objects, and people, and comparing their aesthetic elements. Week 1, Afternoon. You study the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbours. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problem with Ixion to the south. Screw you, Ixion. I will take you, and I will make you mine. However, trouble may be brewing in Perius as well. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins, and my aunt and my uncle. I can't think of an accent to give this woman, so I'm just going to read her normally. Darling, we were terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. It's a horrible name. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Yeah, she's the special one. Oi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mummy said we'd be here all month. Yay! Cheerful. Maybe we'll have time to talk later. Oh, Map room. 
Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the evening? Well, visit Charlotte. Visit the dungeons. Sounds terrifying. I'm not going to go to the service. Talk to your father. Walk in the gardens. Play with toys. I'm going to be a queen. I have to be amazing. Right, let's go and talk to my special cousin, shall we? I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. Oh, you understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. I let's have a look at our moods. I'm raising that up a little bit better. Let's have a look at skills. Still minus uh, physical agility has been boosted, so has mystical. So we will do mystical and physical classes. Agility, reflexes, you know, for when people try and assassinate me, uh, and mystical. I think was the option. Let's go with law, shall we? Boom. Week two. So wait, there's one day in each week. It's a bit strange, but never mind. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Sound dodgy. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control crystals seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon a lumen's death. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? Hmm, is this some random woman -y person. I've come to pay my respects and honour your mother. You have no respect or honour. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a lumen, as was she, and like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors of 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Lodi, your mother trusted me and I have much to teach you. Ooh. I'm not going to jump to conclusions like my papa, so I'm going to let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. I am willful. I mean, look at that grin. She's like, yeah, dad, I don't care. I really, really don't care. As you wish. 
Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? I will... I'll quickly have a look at my mood. So my willful is going up. Uh, so I need to increase my cheerful and my afraid. One to cheerful, one to lonely, one to yielding. Let's go for a walk in the garden, shall we? A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. Back to studying! Woo! So, mood slowly but surely getting better. Let's have a look and see what skills we can improve. So, we are. Uh, I could go for faith again on law and try and get that up. And agility as well, again. So, yeah. We'll stick with what we've got. Boom. You practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. You practice solo tennis hitting a ball against the wall. Something I really used to enjoy, enjoy doing when I was a child. You know, when, when there was nobody else around to play with and all you had was a tennis racket and a ball and grandparents to annoy by smacking it against their windows. Yeah, I were a horrible child. You practice solo tennis hitting a ball against the wall. Yeah. So that went up into a little bit. You may now play sports on the weekends. Hmm. Huh. Sweet. The kings and queens of Nova have all been lumens for centuries. But in modern times, magic is only used for ceremonial occasions and the direst of emergencies. Long ago, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single witch king until the rival line of Lumens challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly that even now no plants will grow. Well, that sounds horrible. Oh, he loves me. He loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with flowers. <laughs> All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursel rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. No, not at you. At my feet. Princess, don't move. Allord still. Uh oh. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. A snake! A snake in the grass! You can't help it, you squeak and jump back, the snake tenses and prayers to strike. No! Says Charlotte. Your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fang sinks into her leg. What? Lottie! Sounded a bit too happy about that. Too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on here? Your daughter has been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get an herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't feel good. Who will be returning home to Merva immediately? 
Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Fantastic. Well, sure, let me okay. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I think that is where we're going to call episode one. If I manage to get 10 likes on this video, I will do another one. My name's been Luciferous, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.